A major danger on many volcanoes comes from floods of water mixed with volcanic debris. These floods are called lahars. Lahars are more destructive than a normal flood because they contain large amounts of rock, ash, and mud and debris. Boulders swept along by the lahar can sometimes be the size of a car. They can form very quickly and flow down the volcano into the surrounding valleys, often at high speeds. Several lahars often occur in quick succession. Lahars are a major cause of death in volcanic eruptions. They can travel great distances, many kilometers or even many tens of kilometers, so communities far from the volcano can still be in great danger. There are many causes of lahars. A very common cause is if there is heavy rain. An eruption can cover the sides of a volcano with loose rocks and ash. Vegetation and soil, which normally absorb the rain and prevents floods, can be destroyed by the eruption, adding to the problem. When it rains heavily, rock, ash and debris are easily swept into the water, forming lahars. The rocks and debris give the laha extra destructive energy, and often the flows move much faster than someone can run. Some volcanoes are covered in glaciers and ice or snow. Eruptions of hot rocks can melt the ice or snow rapidly to form bursts of huge volumes of water that form lahars. Lahars can occur at any time during a volcanic eruption, but they can also happen many years afterwards. Fortunately, there can be warnings given about lahars. If heavy rain is forecast, then the chances of a lahar increases. For those places threatened, evacuation is the only option. If there is not enough time to evacuate, then people can protect themselves by immediately leaving valleys and going to higher ground. Hiding in buildings is not safe, as large lahars can destroy buildings or flow into them. But the upper floors of a strong building may offer some protection if there is no alternative.